We're going to look at how to calculate by what percentage something has changed. I just want to illustrate first why we might want to consider percentage change rather than just number change. So here's my example. Imagine you've got these three people and they choose to join this crowd. Or you've got these three people and they choose to join this crowd. Now in both cases it's just three people joining. But can you see that if they join this huge crowd, they're not really going to make much of an impact. Whereas if they join this smaller crowd, you're definitely going to notice they've joined. And that's what percentage change does for us. It allows us to talk about the number of people who joined relative to the size of the crowd they joined. And it'll be the same whether we're talking about marks or money or whatever. When we talk about percentage change, it's the change relative to the size of what you started with. So let's do an example. If the number of people attending a show increased from 40 to 50, by what percentage did they did the attendance increase? Remember, percentage change is about the actual change relative to the number of people who were there to start. So to work it out, we first need to know how much things changed by. So it changed from 40 to 50. So to work that out, we know that the change was a change of 10 people. Now to work out percentage change, we must take that change over the original amount of people and then multiply it by 100% to turn it into a percentage. So it was 10 people, the original amount of people we started with, 40 people, and so it's over 40 multiplied by 100% to turn it into a percentage. And you should be able to do this quite easily by now. It's 25%. So if we have a look at this example now, if the number of people attending the show decreased from 500 to 450, by what percentage did the attendance decrease? Again, we just need to work out the change. So it went from 500 down to 450. So we can see it dropped by 50 people. And then we need, to, when we want to work out the percentage change, we're talking about that change relative to the original amount. So how many people were at that concert or that uh, show originally? It's 500. And so what you're going to have is your change over the original amount. And then you turn it into a percentage, and that is going to give you an answer of 10%. And this is a decrease of 10% because it dropped from 500 to 450. But you can see here, even though there was a big number drop, 50, bigger than in our previous example, the percentage change is smaller because the crowd we're looking at was a bigger crowd to start with. So relative to the bigger crowd, those 50 that left was not as much of an impact.